welcome everybody. I'm reusing an old. Oh, oh, wait a second. I sorry about this. Add. You know, really, I'm all over my uh, my scenes today. Download. Look at that marble, though. Isn't that classy? Force Friday, exactly. How are you capturing a very real and physical Game Boy? Yeah, and you also might be wondering how I'm uh, how I'm capturing this Game Boy that's very clearly on, even though the power LED up there not not illuminated. Uh, yes, you've noticed my custom Game Boy Advance. You've noticed that. Uh, all right, this is this is I've modified a Game Boy Advance. To, uh, to be presentable here. I even changed the name of it down there just because um, I, did a, I did a Game Boy Advance roulette a while ago. So just pretend that that's not there. I decided to use the Game Boy skin anyway because we're playing game or Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones. See all the important characters are there. Um, this is the next. Yeah, it's burnt out. Yeah, it's modded. Modded to be, to be off all the time. Um, this is the next in the list of video games based on the Star Wars prequels. I'm throwing back to a simpler time when games were real and video games were all very good. As, as you know, we earlier all agreed. Right, that seems fair. Oh, here we go. All right. Get the cinematic treatment here. This is nice. Yeah, this game's real. Porn fed video games. Like it sounds like a Game Boy. That's weird. Why is there a line there? Ah, that's fine. Yeah, is this a password save game? So wait, you think the first level is going to be like a platforming action game on Coruscant? Or I'm Anakin and I have to like chop down a ton of, of little assassin droids? gonna be sick i hope i get to like bounce double bounce off of an awning or something Ooh, got some pre-rendered scenes here oh okay it says d-pad but it doesn't mean d-pad actually d-pad does nothing you actually have to hit a button on the landing pad an explosive device is intended to assassinate the senator but instead kills her decoy <laughs> it's like I'm watching the movie. Following the failed assassination attempt, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker are assigned to protect... Oh, that's why that's there. Senator Padme Amidala. Later that evening, Anakin thwarts a second attempt on Padme's life. Obi-Wan crashes through the window and grabs hold of the would-be assassin, a probe droid. This is so dope! Imagine! Years ago, we couldn't even get these really grainy digital stills from the film oh man Co copenhagen thank you for the sub the latest inside games on starfield was awesome and i absolutely agree with the immersion of flying in elite dangerous especially in vr Ooh, man elite dangerous in vr is scary it actually like it actually made my heart kind of palpitate a little bit the original game boy advance was not backlit no i did a lot of uh i did a lot of backlight mods for game boy advances got pretty good at it Course on rooftop. Yes, yes. Okay, now I have to. I, it was kind of an easy call, but still. Now there has. To, I have to like boing off of an awning and then do like a somersault. Make your way across the rooftops and into the hangar. Wait. Okay. Yep. I'm a, I'm a, a mannequin. My man, a mannequin. What the heck is going on here? What's 
this music? Oh, that's jump. This button. Oh, you, okay. You hold this and it's lightsaber. Like a, there's a whole turnaround animation. Only if you're on the ground, though. If you're in the air, you get to just you get to turn around instantly. Oh! Did I, did I get him? Is he, is he gotten? Okay. Got him! What the heck? What? on this game and my Game Boy. I feel so old. Yeah. That's an utterly rational response on Force Friday. Whoa! That's a lot of action. Okay, can't turn. Nope. We need to turn this way. There we go. I kept... Turning back to the right. Hold on, let me figure that out. Okay. If you're crouched, you cannot turn around. If you're blocking, you can't turn around. Okay. Got it. Controls mastered. Ooh. Cheeky. How often do you have candle cam? Um, it it depends actually. It goes it goes through periods of frequency really. Why is this just deflecting? What are we doing here? That was weird. It reflected all the other times. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's kind of hard to tell when you're hitting anything, really. Oh, this is big time cannon. You don't remember this? Mega fart dad? How can you not? Know? A lot of people say this is the most important scene in episode 2! Oh! What? There's a kick? Oh! 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 Okay, I figured out how to force jump. Oh! 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 This game kind of reminds me of Batman Forever. The sort of like chunky characters, the grainy pre rendered backgrounds. Uh, okay. All right. We're good. Make me do blind jumps. When do we get to murder the sand people? It's probably later. We're getting more block is. Maybe you have to pull block. Like. You gotta pull block like a certain number of frames before you get hit. Oh! I got a life! Rad. It's been a while since I picked up an extra life in a game. I guess Project Warlock, actually. All right, so what's going on here? What do you want me to do with this? All right. That is telling me there's a platform there. Got it. More force juice. <laughs> yes, thank you, Nightbot. Yes, yes, yes. If this... If this movie was a part of your childhood... 
then surely you had some expo exposure to technology. George Lucas's amazing, amazing technology with which he shot Star Wars Episode II, the first fully digital film. It's inspiration to an entire generation. Think about how Episode II made you feel when you saw that masterpiece. I think that there might be kids out there who don't have access to such beautiful displays of the intersection of technology and art. Consider taking that energy and what do I do? What do you want me to do? Okay. Right. Jeez. And uh and consider paying that forward. Ah! Envy, thank you very much for the $123.45 donation. Thank you very much. Got to train those young ones. Hold on, there's a dot, dot, dot there that's... Yeah, nope. That's just a hanging dot, dot, dot. Delightful. <laughs> the best donation pitch you've ever heard. Yes. Channel your love and adoration of Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. The halcyon summer of 2002? Formative in all of our lives, I'm sure. Thank you for the incredible donation. I'm gonna need health here in a second. If I do my big floaty jumps, there'll be like a turkey float in the sky. What do you think? What do you think health pickups look like in a game like this? What the heck? What the heck, bro? Ha! Ah, ha! Ha! Hoo. Are these the like? These are just like the training droids, right? Oi! There's no way this is the beginning of the level, is it? No. 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 Oh. All right. Just more video game to love. That's all. One of those games, yeah. Oh, the moves, though. Give me a chance to style a little bit. Show this game the meaning of cinematic action. Gosh, that turnaround of animation is a real, a real stinker. Never gets better. I can't do anything. While that animation's going, this. <laughs> Just a few frames of pain. All input's gone. Anakin's kind of like a car. You gotta, like, give him some room to U-turn. Dang it. That explosion hurts you. I, okay, you can't hit up and forward at the same time. So I think you can just jump. Oh, you can jump. This looks bad. What do you mean? Do you not see these Star Wars adjacent things happening on the screen? Eh! The problem is if there's a bolt coming from behind you, you kind of have to factor in the turnaround time. One up respawn. I think it did. Love the golf swing that chips the droids. <laughs> this thing. Trying to get out of the sand trap. Look at that fall. That's a powerful fall pose, though. <laughs> Just... It's like he's holding a barrel. Oops. Oh, that was close. All right. I really should have died there, but that's okay. Didn't. Darn it. Oh, that's why that elevator's there. Okay. I think if I do the kick. Yeah, if I do the kick, he macho poses earlier. And that's really important to me that he does that. 
<laughs> tough Anakin, tough guy Anakin. <laughs> Wow, gosh. All right. A real buckle up moment. Yeah, get good. It's health that's getting me. I just gotta, I gotta find very deterministic ways to not get hit. There's like two enemies at once, I'm not quite sure what to do. Smooth. This reminds me of Little Prince of Persia combat. Can't wait till we get to play Jedi Academy and Outcast. Now, are those prequel games? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. <sighs> they are not. No. Mm. If I, if I'm on the first level, yeah, guy. Uh oh, if I can't skip the crawl, oh no. Oh, you're okay. Oh, I was like, no way. You're gonna make me sit through this. Ruby, you got the, the level skip passwords? We're not gonna need them. Yeah, I won't be needing those. Thank you, though. That wasn't very smooth. Gotta take care of that stuff a little more definitively. Yeah, I don't. Uh, wish I knew why it. Oh gosh, so much damage. I wish I knew why the reflection would be so on point sometimes, just not other times. Yeah, the music is very chaotic. Just had like some burned out samples of Star Wars stuff to try to turn into a new soundtrack. And yeah. One up. I can't remember where the other one was. Music's 
putting you on edge. It's not very calming. Oh. <laughs> right. Right. Oh my gosh. Did the exact same thing. Ugh. God, I gotta wait for the whole elevator. You charge the force like this is some kind of DBZ game. Uh, I don't. Maybe there's some combination of buttons, but definitely not apparent what that combo is. Damn. Okay. So the one-ups up there. Go. What if I just mega jump. Oh, there was a one up. Big time one up. I'll have to get that later. Turning around is pointless. I need to not do it. Oh, gosh, the animations. Oh. The, uh, oh, of course the screen doesn't go back. Come on. Come on. All right. All right. I have done it. BGDGDP. BGDGGP. The probe droid is destroyed, sending Obi-Wan plummeting, but Anakin catches him in his speeder. Obi-Wan takes the controls as Anakin jumps onto Zam Wessel's speeder. We know who that is from the last game. How about that? How about that? Level 2, the chase. Chase Zam's speeder and help Anakin force her to the streets below. Oh, baby. Is there going to be a like a auto-scroller? Or a shoot -em up section? Yes! It's better than I could have dreamed. What the fu- Ooh! Okay, got it. I'm z I'm zoned. Ow, that hit me. Okay, we don't want to get hit by that. This is oh, it's like a movie with the music and everything. Ow, what? Up? Okay, up is what we want. Ooh, there was a ball. I think. Shields. Oh, okay. Ow, the cars are either up or down. Right. Yes. Ooh. Whoa. Uh. Uh. Oh. Get ready. Okay. What the? What the? Huh? I got like a... Okay. Do I get that back? Jeez. Oh. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oh, come on now. But also it's hideous and horrible. Oh. 
What do, what do you want? Obi-Wan, guide me. I need you. Okay. I got shields. I guess that meter in the upper right just recharges. And then I can activate it. What the heck? Oh! How are you supposed to know where the ships are going to cross? No! Oh. Victory! BDFGHH. Zam's speeder crashes into cr a crowded city street, sending Anakin flying. Zam exits the crash speeder and runs. Countdown Coruscant, or downtown Coruscant. Chase down Zam Wessel and defeat her thugs and droids. She has thugs and droids. Shocking. Oh! That was a lot of action right off the top. Come on, she, is this going to be this whole level? Ugh. She's going to be there, shooting at me over and over again. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, that's that droid. The droid we heard about. <laughs> Darn it. Thousands of battle for. What? Oh no, they're kicking me! They're kicking Anakin! He's kicking him! What the heck? Just giving him a little boot. Just running right up and giving me the boot. Oh! <laughs> what? That was like one thing of health. That hit everybody, I guess. Oh, Anudra, thank you for the five dollar donation, and thank you for the little wee, the little smiley face. Thank you very much. Oh! I hate it. I hate you. Why are you always there? I think there's a little yelp if I reflect the lasers, so I think it is doing damage. <laughs> yeah, looks like Nightbot finally woke up. Nightbot's been sleepy today, sorry about that. You're starting to suspect this game sucks. I don't know why you get that impression. I don't know whatever made you think that. I want to see the little dudes run up and kick me. Just kick me in the side real hard. He's like, ow. I can like I can get her on screen. I can do a little force push. There's a bill, and then Zam runs away. Oh, 
Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Oh, goodness. Okay, all right. All right, it's fine. Everything's fine. Here they come. What? I saw the gun there. Yeah, we're, we got some, some big time gameplay today. Real Hall of Famer for Force Friday is on deck. Curious what I what happens if I can get like a what? Get a max out force meter. Just an outrageously pathetic amount of healing. I wonder if health drops become, or sorry, if force drops become health if you have max force. <sighs> Those hitboxes last for so long. That might be the case. Yeah. Everyone just drops health if you have full force. Wow. Okay. Game solved, I guess. Just never, ever use force power. Good stuff, good stuff, I guess. Ow. Got me with a grenade. What? Maybe I, maybe I need to use force. Maybe I need to do the force shove. When they're just slightly on screen. More slightly than that. Although the, the level does seem to be changing behind me, so I just can't tell. I don't know what the game wants from me. Is it just this forever? There's health there. What does that mean? Oh, screen stopped. And now it's going to continue going again. Like it makes sense, but it doesn't. When it, when I actually get like a reflection. Sam Wessel hasn't shown up in a while.
game is a real trip. How can they already be out of ideas? I'm starting to think this just goes forever. You think? Oh, now there's four. Never mind. Clear sense of it. Okay, if you get hit, if you get hit in the middle of your turnaround animation, it cancels your turnaround. You end up facing the direction before you wanted to turn. I thought that was the case. So they can actually like stun stun lock you looking in a particular direction. Whoa, zoomies! Oh, Calvrak, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. Just as a reminder, all the all the revenue I get from this stream from subs or cheers or what have you going towards the United, sorry, Urban Arts Program, not United Airlines. I've done it! Finally, I'm a Jedi Master! Okay. Yeah, it was a level. I just had to get to the end there. B, C, G, G, D, D, G, G. Yes, surely in this moment, you're reflecting on the incredible cinematic experience of Star Wars Episode Two. A film enabled by technology and such raw artistic output. You can play your part in making sure that the brightest minds of tomorrow can make the next Star Wars Episode 2. When Disney gets when Disney gets around to remaking Star Wars Episode 2, you want the best minds available on it. And the way you get that is by investing in an urban arts program. Just think about how good the next Game Boy Advance Episode 2 game is going to be. Before Zam can reveal any information, she is killed with a toxic dart. Fired by a mysterious rocket man. I love how when you literally describe what Star Wars is, it sounds like the dumbest thing that's ever been made. A mysterious rocket man. Who was that mysterious rocket man? In order to protect Padme, Anakin secretly escorts her to Naboo. Obi-Wan traces the saber dart to the cloning facilities on Kamino, where he learns about the clone army and meets Jango Fett. We're skipping over a lot of uh, potentially shoehorned uh, action, action platforming levels. Level 4, Kamino. Oh, do I get to play as Obi-Wan? Defeat Django's guards and collect three keys in order to access the exterior landing platform before Django and Boba escape. Please don't be time. I'm Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Oh! Another anxiety-inducing anxiety incomplete loop of the Star Wars score. Very good, very good. We will do well here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I think you just have to pull the guard X number of seconds before the laser hits, or like X frames, and then it'll reflect. Crouch. It sure 
never seems like I should, though. Right? I worked very hard on putting crouching in again. Oh, look at that. I could get it, but I have to spend force to get it. Oh, no, it's gone. Gotta be careful until I get full. there. Good. Yeah, I don't have to crouch. Those are all those are all bait hearts. Now I have all the free hearts I want. You guys are losers. And I have the secret of the reflect. I have the force of Jesus on my side. Oh, I was supposed to be finding keys. Yeah. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, that's true. Because I didn't do that, really, at all. suck. Oh, okay. Gotta be very careful. Oh, those are doors. What the? Don't need them. All right, there's so many rooms. Oh, good God, no. Uh, all right. But, eh. This is the hell I asked for. Game over. You have lost. Uh, all right, let's, oh, that's nice. Hey, good job, Star Wars Episode 2 Attack the Clones. Uh, yeah, a bit of a spoiler in that game over screen. Okay, well, I'm equipped with more knowledge than ever. the point of passwords then for when I turn the Game Boy off. Oh! Anonymous, thank you very much for the $3.33 donation. Appreciate you, whomever you are. And you really just have to wait. You have to sit here. While infinite enemies spawn and just shoot lasers at you forever. And I don't know if the cards are going to be like in a crate or something. What the? Bro! Oh, come on! Uh, you're not like perfectly on the door either. I think you, 
can be too close to reflect. I think that's part of it. I really don't know what to do in that situation. I think they- I don't know how to get out of that without taking a hit. Coats. Oh my gosh. Maybe? what I came into last time. I feel like I went in there. Did I? There's a door back there. I think you can check the coats. What are you expected to do? Jump? I haven't found a single card. Ever. Starting to have my concerns, guys. That's to the left. Oh, no. What am I doing? I'm taking so much damage. I don't think there was anything in there. Why are they doing this? 
certain enemies on both sides of me. Ow! I went all the way to that first big double door. Started rooting around in there. Letting them shoot me so much. Yeah, yeah. I'll go right this time. Oh, there is no right. Ugh. Taking so many hits. CPU Sydney, thanks for the cheer. Can I not even drop down? All my force to get out, though. Why don't they just let you jump that high? Oh, that okay. I can do a jumpy twirl. Hey. Just for style? Does that do anything? Breaking those things does anything, but I, it makes me feel a little bit better. I like knowing that I've lashed out a little bit. Hey, what's up, James Fisto? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. I think I explored in here. Well, just chilling this Friday, waiting to start a new job on Monday. Ooh, uh, how am I doing? I'm doing all right. I'm exploring a fascinating game here. It's part of my exploration of all Star Wars games based on the prequels. Everyone's favorite, the prequels. There's another big door. I'm gonna go into it. Okay, yes, the cloning vats. Seems like an important thing. Great. Nothing over here. Good. Actually, I think I need to jump up. I think I 
see platforms. Which means I gotta use I gotta use force power. Alright. Don't want to backseat, but I had to look this up. Is it that is that that uh unlikely to discover over the course of natural gameplay? Also, did you 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 full on played this? Oh, uh, come on. Oh. Oh! Yes! Card secured. Okay. I got it. Got it now. Only need to find three more of those. That's what I'm looking for, though. A big box. Two to go. Yep. No problem. I gotta remember which way I was going. I think I was going right. Maybe I wasn't. I broke that. Okay. I'm gonna get this in some low one. Of course, anyway. Ow! Yeah, that's a good way to Goldilocks this, is breaking the wall panels to figure out where I've been. I cannot be eating shots like that. Oh, okay. Alright. That was nice. That was nice of them. Kind of calming. To start hitting that reflection timing. Let me in the door. Each one of these maybe go to a go to a card. A morph. Amorphous anus. Thanks for the prime. And the opportunity to save him. They're all just small force pickups. It's not worth it to use force jump to pick up like one small force thing. Holy cow! Holy moly, white rabbit object. In with a showstopper of a dono. Five hundred dollars. White rabbit object? Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I know Urban Arts does too. I know all the students that will benefit from your generous, generous donation. Absolutely will. Thank you very much. For the kids! Love to see it. Kids love to see it too. You're probably feeling guilty. Panicking and all. Feeling like you gotta do something a little special for the younglings. I get it. I get it. Good on you though. Good on you. These rooms are lame. Um, I think I need to maybe... I'm hoping all the key rooms are no to, like, n different. Maybe all the rooms that have keys have the, like, cloning bats in the background. Those, those dudes that fly in and explode on you are the worst. What the heck, man? What a key. I gotta do it for the key. I'm just gonna see if there's any boxes on the first level that I can kick and pick up. And there are not. 
the way I go. See, so yeah, I'm gonna start assuming that keys are not gonna be in the smaller rooms like this. They're only there to troll me, tempt me into wasting resources. There we go. Uh, come on. Okay. This is starting to fit a pattern. Is this a cloning vat room? No. But... There could be a key in here. It also fits the profile to a small extent. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Key number two acquired! Obi-Wan, you clever dog! Oh! I'm gonna walk into the laser. Alright, that's two. So I hope there's another silver door off the main hallway. Because it presumably will lead to another silver door that has the third key. Then I can humiliate Django Fett on the landing pad front of his son. <laughs> ah. 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 All right, all right, all right. Yeah, third door, okay. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm not going to waste any more force moving around these stu stupid rooms. Obi-Wan, OBGYN. Coincidence? Oh, wait. I'm just hoping that there's force pickups on the first floor. I'm not even messing with this. Yeah, that's right. This is where I came the first time I was backtracking. with me. Robots are dropping hearts. Does that make them like robots in Sonic the Hedgehog and their little creatures inside of them? Maybe I'm picking up... Maybe there's little midichlorians in there and when I... When I break them, they, they all pop out. Like that. I feel like the gameplay lesson I've learned from Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones is to never ever use Force Jump. Stockpile it so that you'll become invincible. So that all the droid souls you absorb go right to your health bar. Oh, come- what? Jeez. No, not even a- yeah, Not even a Force pickup. Disgusting. We get past the droid factory. That's probably pretty close to the end of the game, yeah? Oh! There's a third one. Gotta be careful. Oh! Oh! Okay. Free key secured. But like a couple more zaps and I'm out, so I gotta be real careful about these robots that just like to pee right there. No, no robots. Okay. Now 
we're talking. Need some more health here. Yeah. air show going on or something? What the heck? Eh. Oh! Oh, come on. There's a boss fight? I do. Oh, what? Whoa, cool. Oh. What? Oh, this is so cool. Uh, uh. Uh. Oh. Uh, uh. Uh. Uh, uh. Uh. Oh, I gave him the works. Come here, come here. Uh. I want to get caught in a turnaround animation. Oh, so close. Oh. Get your medicine. Huh. Oh! Nope, he's good. He's good. Whoo! BCHDFJ. We all remember that. Using the homing device, Obi-Wan follows Jango Fett through hyperspace to Geonosis. Level 5, Geonosis Asteroid Belt. Oh, yes. Oh, good. This is the best possible thing. Oh, I get to do another first-person flying sequence. Uh, love the flying missions. I do, too. I do, too. Great gaming, brother. Thank you very much, Reverend Mooch. This is a Gamer's Friday. This is, a, this is for the gamers and for the kids. We're gaming for the kids now, which is infusing me with all sorts of astounding gaming ability. It's just flowing out of me. Like some like some kind of force flowing through me. Uh ooh. Alright, there's a cheer and I'm gonna read it. Vanen Vanandra Hmm Vanandra Fitana? Fitina. Hmm. The F and T is really throwing me up. Rafentina. Hmm. Vanandra Hafentina. I think that's close. Thank you for the cheer. Appreciate that. Love a challenge. Oh, <gasps> oh I get lasers. This is the coolest. What's that time? There's like a metal up there. Speed? Am I supposed to shoot him? I think I'm doing the right thing. Oh, there's a planet back there. Did I die? I died. <laughs> okay. Sure. You definitely want to keep this password handy so you can skip right to this level whenever you want. Let me see extra life. Those missiles. Hitting R makes the green light go away. Oh, 
let's add one extra something. Hitting L uses the meter in the top. I think it slows things down? Okay, so if I, I think if I don't shoot him, then it, he'll, his lasers hit me. I'll just hit me. I gotta keep shooting at him. Smart Okay. When I used the L power that time, it like auto fired my lasers towards the enemy ship, I guess. Uh, Anonymous, thank you for the $30 donation. Did I die? I, th I think I did. Yeah. I don't know where my health. Oh, wait, is it the thing on top? Is that my health bar? Yeah, okay. It is. Victory! Huh. <sighs> Alright. All good stuff. Oh, the, uh, yeah, the sonic bombs. Oh, such a good sound. After surviving the encounter with Jango Fett, Obi-Wan follows him down to the planet's surface. Meanwhile, sensing that his mother is in danger, Anakin and Padme rush to her aid on Tatooine. Anakin goes in search of his mother, Shmi. Oh, here we go. Time for some, uh... Time for some unspeakable acts. After racing across the desert of Tatooine, Anakin finds the Tuscan village where his mother is held captive. Oh, dear. Fight your way through the savage Tuscan raiders. Gonna, they're just gonna keep coming. Uh, oh. Right. Oh. Okay. That's fine. Interesting. Interesting. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Guys go yay too. never been gaming more raw, raw and prime than this. Oh, oh we, we got some real warriors here. Hey, hey, hey. 
whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that fierce sword battle. This track from the movie for that part a little weak for a Williams score but still still very nostalgic yeah <laughs> impossible to forget there's a killing sand people level of course there is Wow. All the designers went a little nuts. There's something really cozy about just hyper, hyper chunky pixelated pre rendered graphics, though. That was getting pretty, pretty in vogue on the Super Nintendo right near the end of its life cycle, and it was kind of in vogue the whole time on the Game Boy Advance. Hey, what's up, TS underscore? We're celebrating getting a sweet new job. Well, congratulations. Yeah, a lot of, uh... A lot of people changing roles lately. A lot of shifting in the job marketplace. I guess economic disruptions tend to do that, but I'm glad you're... Glad you're celebrating. What does the force meter do? Uh... It... There's a couple of powers that I have. There's, like, a force push. There's, like, a move that clears the screen. Or does damage to everyone on the screen, at least. The thing is, though... If I have full force meter, everything that would drop force just drops health. So there's really no reason to use force power ever. Because if you just keep picking up health, then you'll beat the game. Oh, you're doing business intelligence, huh? from doing taxes to IT and healthcare. All right. Healthcare IT is pretty uh, pretty stable, solid, and dependable, from what I understand. My favorite is when the game stops for a second, takes a little break, freezes the screen scroll so that I can kill even more Tusken Raiders. of Coley Lonely? Coley Loli, excuse me. Coley Loli. Loli. Coley Loli. Your, uh, your name has rewritten my brain. Do you have music I may like? Well, let me, let me have it. Send it on over. laps around the camp could have saved his mom. She sees him go by every time. What's going on? That was weird. It's a little 
little too close to reflect, I guess. Uh. Get stuck on one side. Ugh. life bar or full force bar oh yeah in fact i'm very grateful for Don't you dare. Don't you dare episode 2 attack of the clones. Not like this. <sighs> Jeez. As strong is that a known glitch? What a nice totally normal looking legal Game Boy. Yes, thank you. I have modified my Game Boy extensively to play it on Twitch like this. So, thank you for appreciating this. Oh no! Anakin finally locates his mother, but he is too late to save her. Meanwhile, Obi-Wan sets off in search of answers on the dangerous planet of Geonosis. Level 7, Paths of Geonosis. Battle Geonosian warriors and find the secret base. I hope they look cool as hell. Thousands of battle droids. Oh, they dropped force. That's great. That's real good news. That's the best news. Love to see it. Oh, we got platforming, though. Platforming with flying enemies. Always the best. Always goes down smooth. Are they going to force me to do force jumps? They are. Those jerks. They've done it. The madmen have done it. I think there's... I think they never stop coming. Though. Which means I'm in the clear, I think. Yeah, the video, like, the force pickup is the most video game thing ever. I agree with that. Oh, wait, this game really likes eating inputs. Can you blame it, though? Beautiful as it is? Surely all that technology and graphics has a cost. And if losing a button press here and there is the cost of that, then so be it. I'd say. I'm glad. Actually. I am but thankful that the cost is so low. <laughs> Chill, yeah. Stack up some force power. Pick up some hearts. Alright, now we're 
in now we're in health territory. Yeah. Ah. Oh, Sonic Advance 2 came out in the same year. It's been pretty embarrassing for Sonic Sonic Advance 2. the heck, man? How... Uh, how fully do you have to clear these platforms to be considered on them? Come on! It ate a jump that time. But impressed that it decided I didn't hit. Ah. Yeah, I think after you land, I think there's like a. There's, some, there's something about landing. Like that. I just completely ate an input. Oh no! Oh no! <sighs> okay. Come on, get that, get that life. What the? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, like the the character sprite is so wide, but you just slip off the edge way sooner than your than your sprite would make you think you would. Right. Oh, didn't want to get tricked again. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I still have my life. So intense. Finally made it down here. get to kill younglings in this one. This is not an episode 3 game. Holly Mae. I'm not sure what you're thinking. But uh, I have killed an awful lot of... Uh... What? Wow. Alright. Hitboxes on these guys are, are effed. Those spamming attacks. 
eventually get to slaughter sand people? Oh, I already have. Oh, yeah. The answer is yes. What the? How are these guys suddenly putting it to me so hard? I thought that was a good landing point to try and recover some health, but for some reason they're getting really good at just poking me to death now. I feel like they weren't that... they weren't that insidious the first time. The good news is it's, I'm just right back here. I've made astoundingly little progress in this state. box in the world. I'll, like jump to get one one ah jump to get one health and then the next guy is already there attacking that space from off screen. Like an accidental perfect trap. Gosh darn it. Okay, oh I think I have to force jump from this. Otherwise I'm not high anymore. Oh god! Bro. Freaking bro. It, like, keeps eating the jump input. And then, like, and then doing it, like, a, a bit later. How did that hit me? They just come down with a hitbox. And you can't not get touched by it. Wow! Jump! You're you're the one making me jump. I have to take that path. Man, this sucks. Okay. Hey, what's up, uh, Wubbly? Thanks for the sub. Hurt me! 
This is the worst. Alright, I gotta use the restroom. This is so whack. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back with the big plays. The hot progress. So I think I need to jump down to that lower platform and then do force jumps from there. I always get there and then the one-up tempts me to fall. And then I never have enough health to get back. I've done that a couple times this time. Goal is to not do that this time. Swish sound is a boulder fall. Okay. Uh. Okay, I might need to I might need to take a stop. Um on that one flat platform to like farm out hell. Cuz they're just going to keep chewing me chewing me up. I can do it. I can't reliably hit them. What the f Okay, if they're if they're like above and slightly to the left, that works pretty well. What the f Yowza! Okay, all right. You can hit them when they attack. They hurt me when that happens. If our attacks collide, they hurt me and and they don't die. Ugh. Oh. I don't. Th I don't think no. Like just throwing out just throwing out attacks gets me hurt. Like that. See? I got hit and they did not. What the? They might have invincibility frames or something. These attacks just seem to go through sometimes. I think if they're attacking, they might be invincible. I think that might be the thing. I have to wait for them to be in a neutral animation frame. help though because they can just fly in attacking and then they hit me like that 
It's a really long animation, and they can just sort of slide into me with it out, and then I get hit. I'm not agile enough to, like, see it and not get hit by it. Yeah, okay. If I'm not attacking into it, then I'm less likely to be hit. Ugh. And they just kind of attack over and over. There's sort of a rhythm to it. I'm starting to figure it out. Give Obi Wan a gun. That would really help this situation. Give Obi Wan a gas. We will solve the problem. <laughs> what the? F Dude. Ah, uh, absurd hitboxes. Frankly absurd. Good enough. Legitimately don't stop coming though. up a couple, a little bit of health here. Give myself a good padding, good base. I'm excited to see what the, uh, gosh, what the droid factory is going to look like. All those chompers and platforms and stuff. Oh. <sighs> Now in this moment of calm, I feel it appropriate to reflect on the fact that this is a fundraising stream for urban urban arts. Both the idea, but also the nonprofit whose mission it is to bring arts and technology training into low-income areas, helping people of color, women, and uh, non-binary gender identifying into the field express themselves through the technological and creative arts ah! a wonderful cause worth supporting if you have some spare money just use the donate command for a handy dandy donation link the current campaign is to uh modernize their equipment. They're buying some new laptops, headsets, and uh, tablets for the students. Okay. 
Oh, oh, the midichlorians guided me. Gosh. Oh, gosh. BFMG to G. Gotta go. Anakin and Padme receive a message from Obi-Wan asking for help on Geonosis. After relaying the message to the Jedi Council, Anakin and Padme race to Obi-Wan's aid. Yes! Droid Factory! Fight battle droids and Geonosian war warriors as you maneuver through the deadly factory. I hope there's chompers. Big pixelated chompers. Oh, okay. This is this is the level. All right, it's just this. I don't know. We got us an auto scroller. In a weird way, it kind of takes the pressure off. Yes. I wonder how much health that does. It's got to be like it's got to be all of it, right? I think it's like a one shot. Wires do not give force. Absolutely riveting. More stompers. I think it's just gonna be like 20 minutes of stompers. I like how some of them are just walking through. They're just like trying to get to the break room. Well, Anakin's off the rails at this point. Oh, he's dead. He charges up like he's got something to prove. I like it. <laughs> I'll show you what for... <laughs> Alright, laser sword. Pretty OP, huh? Uh. All right, the chompers are here, and I, I, I'm glad about that. I'm glad about the chompers. I guess I was hoping for, I don't know, I thought they'd be cooler. I feel weird saying that, because there they are. They just move weird. Why are they, why are they going up faster than they're going down? Should it be the opposite? They go bang, and then they like da 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 just so you, you like see that it's there. One to give zero, zero Fs and strolled right on by. Yeah, they do that. These guys, the guys that I'm mercilessly chopping down that are walking in from the left, they never attack. They're just trying to go to the restroom. Okay, we have our answer. It is an instant death. And if I like, if I don't miss my guess, that starts the level over, right? 
that's usually what happens. Is you have to beat the whole life. You have to beat the whole level in one life. Maybe not this time, but I don't know. How would you even know, for one? But all right, I was getting I was getting pretty loose by the end there. I was getting a little a little loose and fancy free. Definitely was forgetting my Jedi training. Ah, Christ. Okay, I can't be in the front like that. I don't know if there's ever three chompers in a row. I was just wondering if running through early would, would be safer, and it's very much not. Because the, uh, the chompers at the edge of the screen can get you. So... I just gotta make sure that I know where I'm running to every time. But they're they're timed like you can see one full cycle and still have another one go by and still be safe. So it's not like there's any trickery where you have to be like ultra decisive about it. Maybe they're just trying to again yeah, remind you of the spirit of episode two. Where you're wondering how long it's going to be at around this time in the film. This is still going, huh? Okay. All right. I was wondering how far I could push it with like staying behind. And then the lasers, like the lasers basically stun you under the chomper. But the password has 3 lives on it, so this is better anyway. Oh yeah, this is definitely before the arena. They have to get captured. lightsaber chopped in half. Do you think they're gonna re like represent that at all? Or is he just gonna have his lightsaber still? <sighs> How's everybody's Friday going so far? Pretty well, I hope. We're going to be changing up the game shortly here. We're going to be switching over to Monster Hunter Rise in about 20 minutes. So, this level is either... This level has to be less than 20 minutes long. Or we have a we have an impasse. we got this problem. But I think we're okay. <laughs> I, think, I think we're fine. Yeah. Jake put out the call. Call to hunt cute... Stupid looking but cute monsters. Sometimes with big bellies. I like the round ones. It's so weird how it stops when you jump. The engine just didn't know how to handle that. They coded in conveyor belt physics and that was enough. Okay. And the golden warriors. Yeah, they don't shoot the green goopy guns. You know? Those are so cool. Ah, they just have stupid laser guns. I guess I should be thankful, knowing this game, if they did have green gloopy gloop guns, it wouldn't be reflectable with the lightsaber. Parryable or whatever. Yeah, Game Boy Advance just can't handle that tech. Yeah, George Lucas could barely handle it. Episode 2. Techn technical showcase that it is. Could barely handle the gleepy gloop guns.
Why is the C-3P on a conveyor in the background? Man, that's a good question. Yelling his little jokes? Oh, I've simply lost my head. Or whatever. Yeah, we're kind of missing that superb comedic relief, aren't we? Really ratcheting up the tension of the scene. Trying to play it kind of brutish, but as safe as possible. There's a chomper. Chomper Alley. The final gauntlet of Chompers. Oh! Yes! Mm. Good stuff. Who needs chomping that much? Uh, uh, droids? Droids gotta get chomped and stamped. Stompy champ. After surviving an attack by three deadly beasts... Oh, we're skipping over the arena fight? Alright, Obi... That's a bummer. They could have done this, like, big pre-rendered sprite for, like, the big... Big stompy guy. Anyway, Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Padme are trapped. Oops, by Dooku's who knows what. Mace Window leads 100 Jedi into the arena to save Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Padme. A giant battle ensues. Level 9 arena battle. Hell yeah, defeat Jango Fett and the droid army. Oh, I get to beat Mace Window! Sick thing of the world! Damn, 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 damn. Oh, it's so worth it! Yes, yes, yes! Mess you up, buddy! Oh, so dead. Oh, Droidica? I don't care. Boom! You're on! Ooh! 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 Oh! Don't worry. He's about to turn around. Yeah, force healing's kicking in. Yes! So do I just kill droids forever? Is that what we're doing here? And I can do that. I think that might be what's going on, yeah. Battle Rama. Oh, Wobbly! Thank you for the $10 donation there. Appreciate that. Yeah, raising money here for Urban Arts Project. Gotta get, get, get those kids some new laptops. New, new tablets. Today's kids make tomorrow's video games. Think about it. Yeah, they got a great uh, they got a great one page there for more information about who they are and what they do. I really encourage you guys to check it out. While I mop up the battlefield. Nice window, don't play around. Skrells, thank you for the prime. Yeah, just in addition to uh, kind of inviting you to throw whatever spare 5, 10, 20, maybe more dollars you might have kicking around towards Urban Arts, I'll also be donating uh, any revenue that I would receive from this stream. So all your prime subs and cheers and all that stuff, that all counts too. Next Metaphors, thanks for the reset. And your quintessential gaming, time flies when you're having fun. Oh, it's time to humiliate Django yet again. Oh, what a blessed day! Come down here, you nerd! This guy owes me money! What a battle! What a, what a pitched battle! Ah! Oh, I'm gonna give him that a second little boot. Just to take away all of his dignity. Or chop and take away his head. Okay, I got a little juggle going there. <laughs> the sprite just bounces around, it's so good. 
James Fisto, thank you for the $20 donation. Thank you all very much. Oh, yeah, we're getting close to $1,000. That's a lot of money. I mean, probably over it with whatever I got from the stream today, but we don't know that yet. And don't you want to be the person that puts it over $1,000 at least? To help kids get the tech they need. Kids need that tech. Get the head roll before you switch over? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm, just, I'm getting the feeling that I might be closing in on the end of the game? How many levels are there? I guess I gotta fight Dooku. Yeah, 15 minutes. Last level's next? Oh! Yes. Oh, two more levels. There are 12 total. Anakin and Obi-Wan continue the battle outside the arena in a Republic gunship. Oh, is there a flight level? Cool. So there's three more. 10, 11, and 12. Shoot his Geonosian protectors in order to bring him down. Yes. Very good. I will shoot the absolute heck out of these Geonosian protectors. I know I will. Oh, now we are gaming. I didn't hit a lot, I think. Yeah, a lot, a lot. I can't quite tell how to not get hit all the time. That one, Alpha Ginger, thanks for the $30 donation. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Wait, wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. There's missiles? Yeah, B is missiles. Um, Anakin and Obi-Wan pursue Count Dooku to prevent him from escaping. Level 11, final battle. Confront the evil Count Dooku. May the force be with you. How long is this level, you think? Are you playing as Obi-Wan? Yeah, wasn't he like incapacitated? Dismantle a super battle droid before it kills you. I feel like I've been doing that all play. All play through here. I've been seeing the utter dismantling of droids left and right. Pure battle awareness. Oh, 
Uh, okay. Thank you all very much for the donation. I really, really appreciate that. Very, very close to a thousand dollars here. Just like Obi-Wan is close to uncovering the sinister plot to overthrow the Republic. Actually, I guess he already did that. Here we go. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go nuts on this old man. That was the oh, cool. Oh, now it's Anakin's turn. That was pretty cool. Oh, he got me. So good. That little pixel dooku, that's good stuff. Try as they might, the young Jedi's skills are no match for the powerful and experienced Count Dooku. Before Obi-Wan and Anakin meet their end, Master Yoda enters the hangar and confronts the evil Dooku. Dooku unleashes a, bar unleashes a barrage of forced lightning, revealing that Yoda, reve ah, revealing to Yoda that he has become a Sith Lord. While a truly formidable foe, Dooku is forced to retreat by Master Yoda's mastery of the Force. Later on Coruscant, Count Dooku meets with Darth Sidious to report that he was successful. Everything is going according to plan. I forgot to, to scroll down. At the Jedi Temple, Yoda proclaims victory? Victory, you say? Master Obi-Wan, not a victory. The Shroud of the Dark Side has fallen. Begun! This Clone Wars has. Ah! Uh, and in secret... And in a secret ceremony on Naboo, Anakin Skywalker and Padme Amidala are married. Wait, hold on. There's no music or anything, huh? Rue. Good job, Rue. <laughs> Over. This game is. What's next on the list? Let's let's look that up. Yeah, it's time for the head chopping scene. It is indeed. Uh, the Clone Wars, Star Wars, the Clone Wars. I think that this is a vehicle combat game. Two thousand two video game, made by Pandemic. Uh, the PlayStation 2 game, I think is common, commonly thought of as, so. I think I can get that. Yep, we beat it. That's it. Another Star Wars game in the books. You can see the, the you know, titular stars in the background there. Let me, uh, look up the, let me look up the, the celebration scene here. That was a satisfying ending, though. That that battle Rama as Mace Windu. A plus. Uh, being able to mix it up with Dooku at the end there, very good, very good. You know, in my brighter, in my more uh, aggressive imaginations, I could uh, I could imagine playing as Yoda. I could I could have done that, but you know that's okay. That's all right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna wait for the end of these credits here. Good job, Monica Vallejo. I mean, there, were, there wasn't really anything that like... It was just those graphical glitches at the end of that one level. Too many sprites, though. It was, going, it was popping off. Uh, they didn't have Yoda technology back then, and it didn't exist. Ending fight looked like me and the boys having lightsaber fights after a couple of beers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just quack, 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 quack. So many lightsaber sounds. <sighs> yeah, Yoda technology still doesn't exist. Remember when Yoda was a CGI instead of a puppet? Star Wars music composed by John Williams. <sighs> That's just a fact. It has nothing to do with this game, which contains no 
John Williams music. Very special thanks. Man, what a... We could all hope one day to receive very special thanks at the end of a Game Boy Advance game. Alright, that's it. Attack of the Clones, TM. Start options or password. That's all you get. Nothing else to see here. I think I've seen every element of, of content there is to see, so... Thank you very much, George Lucas. Let me load up... Let me load this up on my Game Boy. So it's, it's a little overscanned, but uh, just ignore that. My Game Boy video. My uncle got me Star Wars Episode 2 on Game Boy. Attitude Era of Star Wars, everybody. Wait, 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 wait. I've never, never really paid attention to the background before, but having seen this particular scene a couple times now, I've heard about this. This guy right here. Okay, he's like, ha, got him. And then, ha, doesn't really block anything. Who swings at nothing. <laughs> yeah, there's just like, there's just Jedi everywhere. It makes for good set dressing, I guess, but I guess you're not, you're not actually supposed to look at them. Peace. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll be back in just a second with uh, Monster Hunter Rise with uh, Jacob and and uh, Bruce and maybe Omar. Hopefully Omar. But we're gonna we're gonna beat up some monsters. And uh, and again, I encourage you guys to use the UA command or the donate command and uh, get a little peek at what Urban Arts is up to. So fantastic cause. All right. I'll be back in just a couple minutes. See you guys soon. Thank you.